This is a quick tip for vacuum hose management when you're working in the wood shop. I'm Ron Falk and this is the Smart Wood Shop. If you want to get a set of detailed plans to build a smart wood shop for yourself or one of my workbenches, link in the description down below. I create a lot of sawdust in the wood shop, even collecting the dust at the tool. There's still a lot of sawdust that falls in the floor and falls in the bench. So my primary dust collection is to pick it up after it's created. So as I'm working and as I'm routing, I'll grab the hose and vacuum up and then store the hose and go back and cut some more. I need to do that for clean cuts and just for my sanity. So a couple of things I've done. One thing I did years ago that I told you about was I have a vacuum that's plugged in. Uh, it's just a shop vac. It's nothing special. I did put a kind of a high-end filter on it and then a dust bag filter over that to bring it up into the world. A little better dust collection, a little more microfine than just they, as they come. But I, I got a nice aftermarket hose. I've used this hose. I've got a couple of these. I've used these hoses for years. But I added fast caps uh, remote off and on so that with the vacuum plugged into the other part to this, I can grab the hose and turn it off and on as I need it, as opposed to going over and, and turning it off and on. But the other part of this is, up until this morning, I took my hose and dropped it in the bench there, and then I'd reach over and grab it. And I've done that for a long time, and it works pretty good uh, a lot of a lot of times i'll drop the hose on the floor by accident or it'll slide out but i was just kind of thinking about making a hook or something and i don't want anything permanent on my bench and i don't want to cut my bench up so i i grabbed a piece of uh scrap plywood i was cleaning up and i i just grabbed a chunk of plywood and i uh sketched this out just on it and and measured the hose and figured out a couple of things and i made this little hook from scrap, although this is the second one. I made another one, it didn't quite work out, but I figured out what didn't work and uh, made this one work. And so all I have to do is just grab this, stick it, just, it just friction fits. I added the tape because I made the opening a little wider than I should. It sort of tipped down a little further than I'd like. But then I found out that the tape actually works good because I, I overwrapped it and it gets a little tighter fit. So I. I give it a pop like that and then it's locked right in. It's only a slight time saver over dropping the hose in there, but I did find that when I'm working throughout the day, I had a tendency to let that fall on the floor probably 20-30% of the time. And I think this is just a little more positive. It's going to stay there and it's going to be easy for me to grab. If you like these quick tip videos, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And remember, ring that bell because it's the only way you'll know when I put up a new video. And by the way, if you see me doing something or using a tool or some technique that I haven't ever talked about and you want to see a quick tip on it, drop a comment down below. Thanks for dropping into the Smart Wood Shop. You stay safe and have a great day.